I'm gonna tear your fuck. <laughs>
Good to see you again. What do you need? Fresh out of the hands of some mock. Take a look.
It seems the settlement of Grey Ditch has gone quiet. Residents haven't come out to trade with the caravanners, and attempts to make contact have been met with silence. So if you're out by Grey Ditch, you may want to pop in and see what's what. Until next time, this is three...
Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. I have one of the, no, the best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck, I've won the Nuka Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. Yep, I'm the president, the recording secretary, and the treasurer. Once a year, we gather here in Girder Shade to have a cook-off using Nuka Cola and the recipe. Last year, I went with my poached roach and Nuka sauce. Delicious. Well, only two right now, me and Ronald. But membership is open to the public. You can join if you like. Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. He's a darling, always watching out for me, and more importantly, keeping the collection safe. Like once, there were these raiders that came by. There were three of them, and their leader was named, like, Lugnut or something. So they, like, kicked in Ronald's door, and he was like, blam, with his gun, and one of them got all splattered. Then the other one tried to, like, hit him all in his head with some club, and Ronald was so cool how he dodged it and shot the guy in the face. Then the lug nut guy was in Ronald's face with the I'll kick your ass stuff, and Ronald was like, hell no, and he punched the... Oh, sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Well, you should definitely talk to Ronald. I bet he'd like to meet you. He's such a sweetheart. I sure did. Want to take it now? How can you resist? This stuff is so cool. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. Well... Right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum, it was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your, um, your pee glow.
Oh, no, not at all. Nuka-Cola Quantum was made under the supervision of the Food and Drug Association. They would never let harmful products end up in stores. I love the stuff. I can't get enough of it. I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more. That's right. You bring me Nuka-Cola Quantum, and I pay you. Handsomely, I might add. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find, like, enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 in all, I've got a super secret cool prize for you. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka Grenade. The only one in the whole capital wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. Imagine the look on the target's face when they are burning alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit flavors. So, what do you say? Will you bring me the bottles? Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. I don't know a whole lot about weapons, but I do know that it's more powerful than a regular grenade. It explodes in a huge blue flame, too. How cool is that? Well, besides what I've already told you, not much. They were working on a way to prevent the glow from remaining once it passed through a person's system, but it was never perfected. I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Well, I, I guess so. I heard that sometimes the radiation would remain in people's systems, but only in a few test cases. All you need is a little rat away, and poof, the isotope is gone. Well, the bottles are glass, just like regular Nuka-Cola, except the glass is clear. That way, the glowy stuff inside shows through. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, my! It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body. Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time. It's quite a rush. <laughs> Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. Okay, shoot. Yay! I knew I could count on you. I promise to put them to good use. Oh, did you need something else? In fact... I do. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka-Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. Well, the DC facility was like their main factory just before the bombs fell. All the research they did was performed there. It was the only facility to ever produce quantum. They were in a test market mode, and they would have expanded production if the drink caught on. Too bad they didn't. Otherwise, quantum would be as plentiful as regular Nuka-Cola. That's okay. Take your time and don't break the bottles. Don't even think of breaking into that. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? Because I'm making sure that no one messes with her. She's my girl, you know. Good. I aim to keep it that way. She's a fine woman. I'd love to get closer to her, if you know what I mean.
Wow, you are as naive as you look. How do I put it? I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plow her bean field. Come on, kid. New to this stuff, huh, kid? Well, let's just say that she has something I want to get a hold of. That's where you enter the picture. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. You devious bastard. I didn't figure you were that clever. All right, all right, double it is. Just bring me those bottles. If I have to listen to Sierra ramble on any longer, I think I'll blow my brains out. So you gonna do it or what? Thought you might. Good. I'll see you soon then. Bringing me some quantum, I hope. My friend, you are at the ass end of the Capital Wasteland. If it weren't for Sierra, I'd be out of here. One thing I can tell you is stay the hell away from the Dunwich building to the south. That place is bad, Mojo. I don't know what that place is about, but I hear about weird shit going on. Well, Sierra may be as nutty as a fruitcake, but she's right. That bottling plant is the place you want to go. Only thing is, the place is crawling with security and creatures. If it was easy, I'd have done it myself by now. That stuff is some of the nastiest shit I've ever had. Imagine drinking a Nuka-Cola, then downing a fistful of sugar and punching yourself in the head. That pretty much sums it up. Sierra shared one with me a long time ago. After I drank it, my piss glowed for a week. Just remember, only one that's gonna lay a finger on her is me, got it?
You're new here, aren't you? Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them before I get a chance. It's okay, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids around here, and no one who comes to visit stays around long. Dad says it could be worse, but there are a lot of starving kids in other places. But still, I wish I had more kids to play with. The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks and cleans the house, and my dad goes to work with Mr. Wilson. They work in the basement, or sometimes in Mr. Wilson's shed. Dad says that when I'm older, I'll come to work with him and learn the family business. It's swell, except I wish there were more kids, and my dad says I'm going to have to marry smelly old Jenny Wilson someday. He keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't want to get married. It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle and Jenny is... something. I don't know. It seems weird to marry her. Gosh, I wish I could go with you. Good to see you. Welcome to Andale. Hello there, fella. Good to meet you. Name's Smith, Jack Smith. Welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. Not here. Not in Andale. No, sir. The great commonwealth of Virginia is alive and well. In fact, we just voted ourselves a new governor. The adults walked right on down to the polling location and dropped ballots into the box. How do you think it works? Yes, sir, it's every American's civic duty to cast his vote for his favorite Republican candidate. Am I right? Yes, sir, democracy is God's best gift. Right after family, of course. Now, now, my vote is my business and no one else's. But I'll tell you one thing. We didn't vote for any beatnik liberal commies, that's for sure. And it's good to meet you, too. Feel free to stay in Andale as long as you like. Heck, stop by the house for dinner sometime if you'd like. Just let Linda know beforehand so she can make enough for four. I hope to see you there. So, did you need anything else? I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. Andale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. Yep, there's no better place to raise a family. Well, hello. Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. Well, I don't right know. But we're the best one. Isn't that what matters? I mean, we're the winners. Us. Not Springfield, not Rockville, us. So like I was saying, welcome to Andale. What can the Smith family do for you? It's the best little town there is. We don't have a care in the world here. I mean, honestly, what more do you need to know? Really, don't be such a stranger. No time to talk to your type, Loco. <sighs> well, hi there. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? I feed my family, and I love my wife and daughter. What else more is there to life, stranger? Family first, and any man who says anything different is saying something wrong, and you should hit that man with a stick. Why, it's a place to settle down and raise a family. Of course, we don't just let anyone in here. The Homeowners Association is very clear on that. Besides, there's no room, as amazing as Andale is. Is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families? Why, hello there. I heard there was someone new coming. How can our little family help you? Are you joking? It's fantastic here. 
the best town in the USA. Has been for why it's been so many years running that I've lost count. Oh, well, no one ever asks me my opinion about anything, but I love it here. We'll see you real soon. What's up? Hey there, mister. You need something? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? No. Well, yes. But it's all a trick! Don't you know anything? Did you just crawl out of a vault or something? Just about everyone in the wasteland knows to avoid Andale, and they're right to do it. People wander in here, and they don't wander back out. You should. Otherwise, you'll end up just like the rest. What? You don't believe me? Just look in the basements. Or out in the shed. You'll see what I mean. Get out! Get out while you can! <laughs> 